Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest VI. Oh no, our party has disappeared. Look, they are nowhere to be seen. There is no hint of them whatsoever. Oh no, there they are. Oh no. We have returned to the Castle Swanstone after defeating Spiegel on the uh, the second attempt, it has to be said. But it was it was a tough fight, I gotta say. Even, even with my upgraded gear I got from the casino. It was a lot tougher than uh, I anticipated, but we got it, we got him beat, and hopefully that means the uh, the curse here, the, the poor woman in the mirror, Miralda, I think her name was, should be free. So let's go have a chat with the king. Uh, ah, I'm sure Miralda can now be freed. Come on, let's get to the king, uh, tell the king the good news. Come on, let's report back to the king. Come to think of it, Spiegel's place high atop that tower seems like a surefire earthquake hazard, doesn't it? <laughs> Always thinking of people's safety, Amos. You're just, you're just such a nice guy. Hello. We have returned. Uh, don't remember if I gave this dude a voice. Not a clue. Uh, you're back. Tell me, uh, how did it go? What? You defeated him? Wonderful! I just knew you would defeat that evil sorcerer. This... this means the Mirror Princess. Oh yes, her name was Meralda. This means we can rescue Meralda from inside the mirror. We must head to the mirror chamber at once. Oh, follow the leader again. Yep. All the way down into the basement. Oh shit, was that... oh crap, did I heal? Ah, oh, then again, they wouldn't throw another boss at me straight away, would... That would be quite a twist. Meralda turns out to be evil as well. <laughs> that would that would suck, because I'm really not prepared for another fight, but I'm sure that's not going to be the case. Imagine having to polish that mirror, by the way. Surely now we will be able to use the spell to lift uh, we will be able to use the spell to lift the curse. King Ludwig quietly closes his eyes and begins to mutter an arcane in an arcane tongue. Oh. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be able to read that. I can barely read English. Beloved princess, do you accept my love? Again, I'm not quite sure how this works. If, if she's a princess of this kingdom, isn't she your ancestor? Or did she marry into the... I, again, I don't, I don't quite know how this works. Also, this piece of music. I've heard numerous times in the series. It's one of my favorites. If you do, uh, if you do accept, then call my name. Call the name of your one true love, Barry. Oh, imagine that if she says a different name. That'd be hilarious. He went through all this trouble. Although, actually, he didn't really do much. Luke. Hmm. Oh, it would be great if she said Lewis. <laughs> Ludwig. Meralda. I... I... I'm really, yeah, I'm really not sure how this works, like... She's been cursed for millennium, they said, right? So... How does he know he loves her? Does he, he just fancies her, right? That's all it is. He likes... He likes the look of her. I'm not sure that qualifies as true love, but hey, what do I know? Ludwig, thank you! He didn't do any... well, he said the spell, but he didn't do anything else. Meralda, you really exist. Here, now. I do, Ludwig. And it's all because of you and your brave friends. Mostly because of his brave friends, though. Oh, mage, how could I ever thank you enough? I don't have the words. I've never felt such happiness. I'm not even sure if I can express it. You could give me a, a really cool treasure or something. But rest assured, I promise I shall find a way to thank you properly for this. For now, however. For now, I wish to be alone with Meralda, if you please. Wait, what are you gonna get up to in front of that mirror? I hear that's a, that's a common thing. Uh, in, in certain establishments, uh, there are mirrors on the ceiling. I, I, you're gonna have to tell me why, why that's a thing. Because uh, I, I certainly don't know, but... Anyway. Come, Meralda, I must introduce you to everyone. Including my penis. What? I'm going to make you my queen, my wife. Surely you do not object. 
I mean, maybe, maybe slow down a little bit? She's, she's been cursed, it, like, encased in a mirror for, for, forever, it seems. Good, then let's go. I don't, I don't think silence is consent. Can I just say this, Ludwig? I don't think silence is consent. Okay, though. You, you do your thing. I wouldn't believe it if I ain't seen it myself. So, is Meralda gonna marry him or what? I don't know, Amos. She seemed hesitant. That was wonderful, simply wonderful. Oh, Millie's getting all caught up in the romance. Anything else to do with the mirror? Nope. Okay, then. I guess we'll go check in on the newly weds. Oh, well, they're not married yet. Who was the girl with the king just now? What? Was that? Was it that girl? The mirror princess? She's finally free? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> do, 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 do. Head downstairs and you'll find them. Yeah, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know. So, yeah. Um, what are we going to get for this? Oh, well, she's already sat on the throne. Are you okay with this, though? I had a, no idea I had been in the mirror for such an eternity. I had no sense of the passage of time. It started when Spiegel came to attack our castle one day. It was a man I loved, you see, but Spiegel drove him to his death. Okay. Spiegel took me and said he was going to make me his own. I did not return his love, as you can imagine, as soon as he realized this. He trapped me inside that mirror. That is, uh, that is 101, how to deal with rejection very badly. He said I would remain there until I said that I loved him. He said that he would wait as long as it took. I mean, if I, if I was her, though, I probably would have just bullshitted him and said, Yeah, totally, and then just ran the fuck away as soon as I could. Maybe she should have done that, instead of waiting in the mirror for, for however long she was. Uh, maybe, maybe Meralda isn't too smart, I don't know. When I was freed from that mirror and I met Ludwig for the first time, I just knew. He is a reincarnation of the man I had loved. Oh, okay, well, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense then. After thousands of years of waiting, we can at last be together. That is a long time. That is a very long time. And it's all thanks to you. I can never repay you for what you've done for us. But if there is ever anything you need, never uh, hesitate to ask. Yeah, have you got any of those ultimate keys? Or a bunch of, like, ultimate weapons or armor? That'd be great. Just anything ultimate, pretty much. I lived in your ancient history. Perhaps my knowledge of the past will prove useful in the present. That's a good point. I'm sure you've missed out on a lot of things, though, being trapped in the mirror and all, but hey, yeah, I mean, that could be, uh, that could be a good point. I reckon the lesson here is never give up, I Things work out sooner or later. Maybe don't wait a thousand years, though. Just saying. Of course, we ain't waiting a few thousand years to restore peace to the- Exactly. We we don't have that uh, luxury. The more I hear, the more I despise that Spiegel. I wish we could have stuck him inside the- in, Well, I think murdering him and making him explode is is a pretty good substitute, though. Such eternal devotion is something we can all aspire to. Right. Mr. Ludwig. Oh, mage, I'm glad you came. Thanks to you, I'm able to make uh, my beloved Meralda Mrs. Ludwig van Swanstone. Uh-huh. It has a nice ring to it, just like her finger. Oh my god, you work fast. We'll have to host an appropriately enormous ceremony, and of course we shall invite you. But why rush? I've waited my whole life for this. Surely I can wait a little longer, right? Ha. Well, when you put it like that, I suppose. For now, let's, uh, for now, then, let me give you a token of my gratitude. It's a little something that's been in our family for generations. Oh shit, of course! That's why we're doing this, I completely forgot. The floodgate key. Yeah. Now, we should be able to sail to the southern ocean in the real world. Oh, hang on, we're in the dream world right now, aren't we? We are in the dream world. Which makes me wonder. 
Hi. Hmm. With that key, you can open the floodgate that blocks the channel just east of here. Then the southern area, uh, the southern seas are yours to explore. Truly, your horizons will be greatly broadened. I sincerely hope you can find what you're looking for. Meralda and I will be praying for your success. Wait, which bl which bloody world are we in right now? I always forget. Avast, we can use that floodgate key to reach the open sea mage. Oh my, what a happy ending. <laughs> May the goddess bless them both. Getting married... Uh, oh my... <clears throat> Getting married already? Well, I suppose it's actually been a long time coming. Uh, again? Yeah, kind of. For one of them, at least. Okay. The princess in the mirror. Just how long do you think she was trapped in there? A very long fucking time. Uh, there isn't an inn here, is there? No, I do need to heal. Uh, also, someone commented saying that I should check Weaver's Peak again at some point. Uh, so I will we'll do that, but I don't know which world. I suppose we could try both. But yeah, we're going to have some more exploring to do. Uh, we're, we're in the real world, aren't we? Oh, this is the real world. Yeah, it is, I think. Is the is the draw uh, thing over this way? Have they opened the gates? Although, well, we've got the key, so I guess we have to open it. Yeah, we do need to heal. So what I can do is probably sail to or tran bleh, zoom somewhere where I can gain access to my boat easily, and then rough. Oh, Amos is now a magnate. Amos learns a new ability. I think that means that he um, he can attract metals now. Right? Mag magnate? No. Service call. What does service call do? Not a clue. That is the gates. Right, I need my boat. So we're going to have to zoom somewhere in the middle, which I guess might as well be Port Haven. Right. Uh, and speaking of Port Haven, is the casino open in this world? Or was it the dream world with the casino? And I wonder if... Did I did I check this? I must have checked this. Or was it closed in one of the worlds? Oh no, I think this must be... Huh. This must be where I did all my gambling. Maybe it... Maybe it's not accessible in the dream world. That's something else I need to check. Uh, but while I'm here, as you can see, I've got a lot of tokens. I'm going to get myself another Igrista Leaf because... Oh crap, they're good. I could also get a Kamikaze Bracer. Which um, might be decent. But I don't know. I don't remember exactly what it does. Uh, Igrista Leaf, though. I mean, it's... Does it revive people if they die? I think that might be what it does. But we'll get another Yggdrasil leaf. Give it to the Carvmeister. Because he's more than likely the person that's going to survive anything with the amount of HP he's got. So. Alright. If I, I wonder if I could get... Can I get two? This casino music is wonderful. Can I get two? I guess I can! Alright, we'll give one to Amos. Nice! And again, I could get many, many more, but I, I wonder, are there going to be multiple casinos? Because it just seems like this bunch of prizes are pretty cheap compared to what you usually come across. So I'm going to assume that there's going to be a point in the game where we get better prizes somewhere with our tokens. I hope so, anyway. I am tempted, actually, just to check this place again in the dream world. In fact, yeah, before we go sailing, I'm just going to do a little bit of uh, zooming around. Although, maybe I should use the inn here. Oh, no, we can just rest at Weaver's Peak, because that's where I'm going to go back quickly and check. Although, ah, we haven't been there in the real world. I wonder when that's going to happen. Okay, and just just to be clear, I don't usually want to be following people's instructions in this playthrough. It is a first time playthrough. I want to kind of do it myself, but if there's cool little things that I might miss, I don't mind. 
Uh, what was I going to do? Yeah, let's switch worlds. How close is Amos to uh, mastering that job, by the way? Oh, very close. Very, very close. Right. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just quickly nip back to Weaver's Peak. Looks like we've pretty much explored most of the dream world. Looking at the uh, looking at the world map there, which is kind of cool. <laughs> now again, I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to find here. Was it the weapon shop I was supposed to check out? Did I ever do that? <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. She's a real beaut, ain't she? That arm is enchanted, you know, but don't, uh, look, don't touch. It costs 7,000 gold coins and is my shop's pride and joy. It's a real conversation piece. You interested? I, I very much am. And I can just about afford it. So, good sir. What? You're buying it? Really? What are you buying? Uh, well, it's all yours. The enchanted armor. Do, 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 do. I wonder if that's, uh, better than what we've got. Is it better than what we've got? Did we put it in the did we put it in the bag? Well, I mean it looks fancy as hell. Reduced damage caused by magic. Uh okay, it's not quite as good defensive wise. But I could give it to Millie. Or Ashlyn. Or Nevin. Oh, we're gonna give it to Millie. She desperately needs it. Hell yeah. All right, yeah, thanks for telling me about this, chaps, because I think a few people did comment about this. And I've only just gotten around to checking it out, so there we go. Sweet. What else have you got here, by the way? Uh, okay, the basic stuff. Right, cool. Okay, nice. Enchanted armor, bloody hell. That will do very nicely. So, let's go to Dreamworld Port Haven. Oh, actually, while we're here, let's let's get a free uh, a free kip in the old uh, childhood home. Hello, Tanya. How's it going? Dun, 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 dun. I do want to rest, please. Yes. Oh, by the way, aren't we really close to uh, getting our next mini medal reward? Are we still on thirty-nine? I think we just need one more mini medal, don't we? I think. Oh, we do, we do. God, I hope we find that soon. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. And I'm, I bet there's places that I could go and grab it right now that I've either been to or could have gone to, but we're gonna get back to our boat um, in the real world. But first, yeah, I'm just, just curious. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Have we not been to Port Vale in this world? Or is it just... Is it just randomly not a Zoom location? I actually don't know. Hmm. I'm just going to quickly leave and just check the world map and see if I... That's very odd if that's the case. Maybe we... Maybe we have... I don't know whereabouts it would be, though. That's the problem. Yeah, I actually have no idea where Port Haven would be here. You know what? Screw it. Let's just uh, let's just go back and sail with our boaty boats. Because, yeah, I mean, it looks like we've pretty much been everywhere here. I wonder if I could get to Port Haven with the floating island. We Yeah, we've definitely been to Port Haven in... Uh, in the dream world, because I remember the the Carver parents thing. Hmm. Just don't exactly remember where it is, and it's a, maybe it's just because we haven't been there since we got access to. Well, I don't know. That's be weird though. If I, I don't know why why some places are zoom locations and others aren't in this. I really don't. Um. Let's go to Somnia quickly. Oh, we, I, then again, we've got a flying bed. That's probably quicker than the uh, 
floating island, isn't it? I'm just going to have a quick mooch around. I really don't remember where it would be. It's not that way. There's a cave. This is kind of where Port Haven is in the other world. I think I'm probably going the wrong way. Again, though, I wish I could see the names of places on the world map instead of just a zoom list. That would ah, oh, that would make things so much fucking easier <laughs> to see what places are. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I have not a clue where bloody Port Haven is. And this is probably just wasting time. So, you know what? Yeah, let's just... Let's not bother with that. Let's go back. You know what exciting thing happened to me today? The most exciting thing that happened to me was... Uh, I was, I was led in bed and I inhaled quite sharply. And it, I sucked a piece of my bed sheet into my mouth, and it was very dry. I didn't enjoy it. That's legitimately the most exciting thing. What was the most exciting thing that happened for you today? Uh, right, okay, we've got our boat. Still don't know how we get to this uh, middle island. It is completely surrounded. But yeah, now we can get our asses to the southern seas. More call drones. Which are super weak. How much money do we have now? Yeah, we just we just spent a bunch, didn't we, on the enchanted armor. We're kinda broke. But here we go! Yes! Progress! Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Um... Oh, maybe now we can find Port Haven. Oh, maybe now I can. That's a good point, maybe- Oh, hello! Mad Mallards. Have we- I don't think we've seen you before. I don't think. Oh, and yeah, um, I know Focus Strength is probably the best thing to use, because it's, um, it's more than double your attack, so it does make sense to use it. I'm just very lazy. Incredibly lazy, in fact. But you guys probably knew that already. Amos, kill the sea slime. Oh wow, this got a lot of defense. Hey, we put it to sleep, though. Nah. Doo right, yeah, there was that shrine I remember going to. A bunch of those. Yeah, when did we get the ultimate key? Wasn't there mention of it being, like, at the bottom of the ocean on a ship that sunk or something? Seem to recall. Don't know how we're gonna get it if that's the case. Alright, what was around here? There's something over this way. And the good thing is, I can just land wherever I want. Oh, it's a staircase. It's a staircase. Yeah, I think I think we've been we've been around these parts before. It whips its tail back and forth. It whips its tail back and forth. Die, please. Hey, who's getting a level? Healy? Mage, level 29. Not bad, not bad. Didn't learn anything, though, which is always sad times. What does down this way? Another well. Well, 
<laughs> well, let's check it out. Oh. There's a frog! Ribbit, I'm the most fabulously fashionable frog around. Bear in mind that only a limited number of items can have their style boosted. However, legendary items won't just increase in style, they'll become more effective too, Ribbit. Uh, what a cute frog. How can that frog be fashionable when it's not wearing a stitch of clothing? Wait, it couldn't be a man in a frog costume, right? Well, it's either a talking frog or it's that. I don't know which one it is. Huh, so you can boost your style of some stuff. I... We ought to start thinking about what we want to afford. Wait, what? <laughs> what is this place? Welcome to the Fashion Forge. We take your ordinary equipment and make it extraordinary. Are you in the market to add a little flair to your weapons and wear? Yeah? Whose belongings shall I work my uh, modish magic on? I guess mages for now? Uh... Can't be forged. Oh, it's just gonna cost money to basically increase its style. Which, again, not really sure why we need a lot of style. Yet. But at least now we know we can improve stuff. By forking over a little bit of gold. Interesting. Well, I'll be back, and I'm kind of disappointed there's no pots or anything to break here. No mini medals. Which is a damn shame. Hmm. What a very peculiar place. Anyway. Ah, you know what? It doesn't actually look like we're able to get out of this area of ocean. Not easily, anyway. Uh, now, where is this? I should probably... Yeah, you know, we, we should probably land here and just have a... Have a wander. We got some cutterflies. Which I'm gonna guess are gonna be no big deal. Yeah, not really. <sighs> Except when they dodge. Oh my god, stop it. Oh no. Don't confuse me. That's fine. Dun dun dun! Never in level 27. That rhymes. Pretty good stats, too. Alright, is there anything this way? I think that's, that's gonna lead to a dead end. Okay. So, do I go left here? Or jumping jackals? Which, yeah, it's like jumping jacks. Ha! <laughs> Sorry to point that out before, but it's, yeah, you probably guessed it. Megamorphosis. Let's go for a... a boom spell. Oh, yes. That will do nicely. Stop. Oh, I hate this. I hate that so much. And I think I said once that, that vacuum ability sucks. I didn't even mean to make that pun. I mean, no, I totally, I totally meant it. What are you talking about? I was very aware of what I was saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. I don't like those guys. One bit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess this is a dead end. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, there's some ruins there. I can't get to it from here. Question is, would I be able to get to it from the other side either? I don't know. Let's just keep going this way. Ooh, we got some cure slimes. And a haunted mirror. Ah, well, we probably want to get rid of the cure slimes first, because they will most likely do a lot of healing to the other chaps. So let's uh, make sure we put a stop to that. Toronto.
No, yes, yes, suck all the MP you want from Carver. I really don't care. Hey, look at Amos! God, he looks cool. Oh, those sprites are great. I'm really, really, really excited for the Dragon Quest 3 remake. I've never played Dragon Quest 3. But boy, does does the remake look awesome. Amos bit himself. Hey, we're now a dojo master. We've learned heave ho, so that means we've maxed out the uh, martial artist job, right? Does that mean I can become uh, a hero now? Ashlyn is now a uh, supporting role in Luminary. Spooky aura. Forget what that does. Yeah, his mate just got his. Uh... Oh, no, he's one away. He's so close. Yeah, one more. One more, we've got it. Sweet. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Let's use Amos's. Um... What? Summons on the spot aid with a sonorous shout? What does this do? He bellows out a hearty call for help. A traveling priest appears! Oh my god, what is this? That's incredible! Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really great for reviving, mostly, I'd say. It won't let us save, but we can save anyway, because we're, uh, you know, emulating. But, oh, we'll do a quick divination. Okay. Yeah, Mage is only just leveled anyway. Carve is pretty close. Amos is very close. Millie is incredibly close. I just realized we got a lot of people in our party now. Hey, that's cool though. Alright. That merchant class is quite interesting. Let's try, um... Try... Oh, uh, wait. Which, which ability was it that told us if there was, um... A town nearby. I forget. Who was it? Oh, wait a minute. Nap? Restores HP and MP. Oh, okay. Who was it? Ah, it was... Here we go. It was, uh... Gwen. Eye for distance. Looks like there's something three steps to the west and to the north. Okay. So, oh, beyond that bloody mountain range. Oh, this is a dead end, you son of a bitch. I guess we're gonna have to backtrack. And I might just run away from you guys. Oh, I hate you so much. Can you please just leave me alone? Yeah, I, uh, I'm very excited to see what the hero class is all about. Nay! There's definitely nothing over this way. That is annoying. Two haunted mirrors. Kind of look like eyes. Do they not? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Yeah, you can tell things are getting stronger now. Hey, Millie, with those weird fucking ribbons. Alright, mage, let's go for a knuckle sandwich. On the other haunted mirror. Ah, uh, you see, that's why I don't typically go for that combo. Because knuckle sandwich seems to miss a lot. And then you've not only wasted your turn... God, I look cool. You turn for uh, for the you know the gather strength or whatever. You've also missed the the actual attack itself. So I'm just yeah, I'm hesitant to do that. I'm sure it does do a shit ton of damage when it hits, but Millie, enjoy your level. And Nevin is now a sword lord, and he's learned hatchet man. So having multiple people that can do that is going to be good for slime grinding. Not that that hits very often, but 
You never know. Ooh, we got some corpse corporals. <laughs> Cor corpse rolls? I, I don't know. Again, probably get rid of the cure slimes. Uh, actually. Nah, we might not need to. We might not need to. Millie, destroy. Again, have have. Uh, <laughs> oh my God! Why do why do they go for car? Is is it because he's got the least amount of H, uh, of MP, and they think that maybe your healer's running low on MP? But no, it's just Carver. He just has no MP, and he doesn't need it, so it's great. Yeah, I can't imagine it'd be very wise to make Carver a mage or a priest. Has anyone done that? Just for the lols. Oh, this is another dead end. Oh, so we can't get to that ruined castle, whatever that is. So this was a bit of a bust. Never mind. Hopefully... We can find somewhere else. Ooh, we got more men of wars, more mad mallards. It's actually a lot of enemies. So I am going to focus my strength. Carver is going to roundhouse kick the fuck out of those guys. Well, those guys. Those guys. Uh, we'll go for a flame breath. I can love the explosion spells. Oh wow, these things are super weak. Okay, that's annoying, but there's only two MP, so it's fine. Can I make land anywhere? It feels like we haven't really gained much by by being able to access this Southern Ocean game. Ah, but I can go through this. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Um, let's go... Oh, we got a... Well, we got a, a cave. And, uh... And a little town. And immediately into a fight. What is all that about? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Don't you bloody dare. Huh, <laughs> bloody hands. <sighs> more XP. It's more XP maged. Oh my lord, stop doing that. Oh, I didn't realize it was still going to hit that first one. That's good. Die, please. Die. Die, die, die. Don't call for back. No, you motherfucker. Oh, we're gonna go through the whole bloody alphabet. Oh, hang on. They can summon trolls? I did not know that. Huh. They can summon trolls. And again, I know I'm being super lazy here. Shit, I thought we would have killed the troll. Alright, at least they can't call for any more backup. Yeah, 1000 XP sounds about right. Amos level 25. Not bad stats. And Gawain level 19. Uh, and Healy has become a monk and has learned to tingle. Jolly good. Ooh! Dropped a chest for me. And oh, oh, it's an oaken club. Okay. I, I got super excited there for no reason. Ugh. In we go. Where is this? Oi, you lot. What have you come here for? 
You didn't come here hoping to catch sight of any real live mermaids, did you? Uh, no. But yes, but no? No. Oh, right. Well, in that case, I'll get out of your way. Um, would he have not let me in if I'd said yes? What is this place? Pescado. The fishing village. All right. What do you what, what do you call a young fisherman? I fisher boy don't sound right. <laughs> okay, Carver. I thought I thought he was actually making a joke there. <laughs> He's a polite little fellow, isn't he? Doesn't seem to be much life about this place. Oh, well, they got some shops at least. Probably nothing of notes in the item shop, but we'll check anyway. Oh no, I, I take it back. Uh, has, has Nevin still got that? He is, he's still wearing that. That would be alright for Healy, but yeah. Pink Pearl is an accessory. Exudes panache. I'm guessing that's just for style then, is it? Is that just a style increasing? Uh... Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't, don't fancy that right now, thanks. Sorry, all my fish are sold out. We always used to have such a bountiful catch, too. But the waves have gotten rougher and the monsters have gotten tougher. It's too dangerous to go out fishing these days. Old Amos prefers a nice steak of fish, uh, to, to fish any day. Yeah, I'm, I'm, same, I'm, I'm with you on that one, Amos. I am not a fish fan. Although saying that, I do like fish fingers and fish cakes. But nothing else. I'm very, very against seafood in general. Uh, God, which house do we go in first? Windmill! Right, we're gonna find a mini medal here, my friends. It's gonna happen. Oh, no. Seven gold coins? What? What's all that about? Rod. Huh? Oh, it's a fishing town. Someone called Rod. Ah. Uh, what do you want? You're in the way. Get out of here, move it. Oh, was it? Was it? It weren't you a friendly chap. Crikey, not much of a people person, eh? I read that completely wrong. Uh, the wrong inflections. Uh, isn't he the one who approached us when we first arrived here? Oh, is that the guy? Yeah. They're exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go somewhere where we're less of a nuisance. Oh, fuck that guy. I'm going to read his books. There's a book entitled Scaling the Heights, A Fisherman's Guide. It's a non-fiction book about the salty sea dogs who make their living from the sea. How bloody riveting was that? 10 out of 10 would read again. <laughs> Come on, give me a mini medal. Please. Please give me a mini medal. Dude. Dude, why aren't you giving me mini medals now? And just need one more. Well, actually, I would like more than that, but, you know, just for now, I'll take one. Ooh, look at the ocean. That's not very often you get that in Dragon Quest. At least the earlier ones. Might be able to run on the beach. Actually see the sea. What's the point, eh? Even if I fix this bleeding boat, I can't go out fishing. And if I can't go out fishing, I can't catch any fish. This village is finished, I'm telling you. It's drying up and dying out. Oh no, is that kid? Is that kitty hungry? Oh no. Well, I guess if there's no fish around. Uh, okay, we got a church. Got an inn. Yeah, maybe we should check out the inn first. They say mermaids have been spotted around these parts. If you ever come across one, be sure to let me know. Imagine getting your hands on a real mermaid. People would be queuing up to see her. For a reasonable fee, of course. Haha. <laughs> You're a cock. The last place I was in, all the talk was of peace returning to the world. What a load of tosh. Just look around you. The sea's so choppy, no one can go out fishing. It's a right tragedy. I don't know, I've been sailing out there and I've been doing okay. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of monsters out there, but... You know, when you're badass like me, you don't have to really worry about it. It really seems like there's still monsters and trouble everywhere we go, eh? Anyone who tells you the world is at peace is talking through their hat. <laughs> or through something else. If only the nearby sea could be freed of monsters, that would be a start. Yeah, but what can you do? What, what we're gonna do is stay at the inn. Da -da 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 -da.
All right, let's search the rest of the town. Mm, nothing, thanks. What are you peeking in that window for? Uh, this is the place to be. Ah, the best fish restaurant in all Pescado. Yeah, we actually have a chippy. Uh, very close by. Sells fish and chips. Called, uh, or it was called Ed's Place. Because it was ran by a dude called Ed. And it was spelt like, you know, place, like the fish. Uh, but fish are so pricey these days and they won't sell them to us anyway. Rumor has it that someone's been buying up all their stock. Boy, what I wouldn't give for a bit of pickled perch right now. Peter Piper picked a, a, a pack of pickled perch. Oh, I see a barrel. There better be a mini medal in this. Thank Christ. I'm starting to wonder if I was going to find one here. Hello and welcome. I suppose it's fresh fish you're after. I'm afraid the last customer just cleaned me out. I haven't as much as a sardine to offer you. Sorry. Well, I'm not too bothered about that. At least this shop seems to have had some fish today. True, true. Where are they getting it from, though? Maybe we should reserve in advance for next time. I'm beginning to wonder if there really are more fish in the... <laughs> well, eventually, maybe not. Hmm. What are you, uh, chatting about? I can't help but worry about Rod. He just used to be the best fisherman in the village, you know. I suppose Rod's already picked your bones. We do apologise, he's been a bit... He's been as prickly as a pike lately. God knows what's gotten into him. Pike, have you ever seen a fucking pike? Scary. Bloody scary fish. Maybe he's in love. I, do, I don't hate. I, I don't hate. I, oh my god, what is that accent? I have no idea, I'm so sorry. Right. Hello. Aw, oh, I really hope your name's Annette. <laughs> that would be great. We can't just give up. One of these days, the monsters are sure to go away. I'm telling you, one of these days. We should all stop carping on that and get some nets ready for when the day comes. Positive thinking. And, oh, a moonwalk bulb. whoop de do. Those windmills were very disappointing. Uh... Have I been in every house now? I don't remember. Hey, we definitely haven't. See the resilience. Rod, that boy was born to be a fisherman. He was the biggest earner in the whole village. Then one day his boat was, uh, was attacked by vicious sea monsters. The poor lad barely managed to escape the jaws of death. But his legs were broken and his fishing arm was as limp as an eel. If you'd seen the state of him, you'd think it was a miracle he survived it all. The best thing you can do is just leave him alone. We've tried comforting him, but he's, he's inconsolable. Goku! From time to time, I see Rod going to that cave on the northern edge of the village. I'm sure there's nothing of interest for him in a place like that. I wonder what he's up to. I think we're gonna go do some investigating. Investigators! Well, I think that's pretty much the whole place. So oh wait, this is the cave he was on about. I thought he meant they meant the cave that we saw out on the world map. Huh. Huh. Should we check it out now? Hmm. You know what, chaps? I think we'll save that till next time. <laughs> Sorry to blue ball you there. But yeah, we'll go check out the cave next time. We'll see what's going on with the fish situation, if we can help out or not. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.